Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, on Black Friday, Hidalgo International Bridge had 200 waiting motorists. The Ansel Duas International Bridge had 300 waiting motorists. In Hidalgo, they had a rate of five cars crossing per minute. Why was Duas had a rate of nine cars crossing per minute? In how many minutes will both bridges have the same number of motorists left? Okay, so what are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about two bridges, right? We're talking about the Hidalgo International Bridge and the Ansel Duas International Bridge, okay? And they're telling you that they have so many cars waiting, right? So it says that the Hidalgo has a waiting of 200 cars waiting, right? Okay, that means that the line has more or less 200 cars on that line, while the Ansel Duas has 300 cars waiting, okay? Now, notice how even though Ansel Duas and Hidalgo, they don't have the same number of cars waiting, right? But there's another factor that makes a huge difference, and that is how fast are the cars crossing? Well, it says in Hidalgo, and I'm using the same color for Hidalgo, in Hidalgo, the, the crossing rate is five cars per minute, okay? And the Ansaldúas International Bridge, the rate of the cars crossing is nine cars per minute, okay? And the question is asking me, how many minutes would it take, okay, for both bridges to have the same number of motor is left, which means when is it that both of them are gonna have the same number of cars waiting, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is, well, notice how we're talking about two bridges here, right? So the first one for me is the Hidalgo, which I have it right here. And then on the other side, I have the Ansel Duas, right? Now notice how some numbers goes with my Hidalgo International Bridge, so be very careful with that. For example, my 300 doesn't go with Hidalgo International Bridge, okay? So let's see if we can come up with an equation for that. So it says that the waiting of the cars, or how many cars are waiting on International Bridge is 200. So that's kind of like the initial amount of cars waiting. Is that right? And then after that, it says that the crossing rate for that bridge is five cars per minute. So if five cars are crossing, that means that you're gonna subtract, is that right? So I'm gonna say minus five because that's how many are crossing. And I'm gonna say M. Why M? Because it's minutes. And since I wanna know when are they both gonna be the same, I'm gonna make them equals to each other, okay? So let's go to the Ansel Duas International Bridge. Well, they have 300 waiting motorists, right? That means 300 cars on the line. And how fast are they crossing? Well, they're crossing nine cars per minute. So I'm gonna write down minus 9M, where M, think about this, I'm gonna write over here, it's the minutes that it takes for the cars to cross, okay? So now I have an equation for me. The only problem is that I got variables on both sides, which not a problem. We can work with that already, right? So I can get rid of whichever variable do you want. You wanna get rid of the negative five M, you wanna get rid of the negative nine M. It's up to you. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna get rid of the negative nine M. So the way that I do that is I am going to add 9M on both sides, okay? Remember, whatever you do on one side, you do it to the other side. So my 9Ms are gonna cancel and I am gonna end it up with 200. And then I got negative 5M plus 9M, so I get 4M, which are positives, is that right? 
And on the right side, I only have 300 now. The nine M's are gone. And you know what? That's good because notice how here my M, it's already on one side only. I don't have it on both sides. Okay. So what do I need to do next? I need to leave M by, by itself. So I need to get rid of that 200. So I'm going to say minus 200 on both sides. And my 200s on the left, I'm going to cancel. And I ended up with 4M equals 300 minus 200. It's 100. And it's looking better because notice how now my M has only a coefficient, right? So I need to get rid of that 4. 4, it's multiplying the M. So to get rid of that 4, I need to divide by 4 on both sides. Okay? So my 4M is going to cancel. And I'm going to end it up with M equals to 100 divided by 4. It's 25. And that will be my answer for this one. Okay? Okay. So my answer is M equals to 25. But what does that mean? Because remember that we need to make sure that we understand the meaning for that. So I do have an answer for that, but I want to see what is the meaning. And the meaning will come if you go back to the question towards the end. Remember it says how many minutes uh, will both bridges have the same number of motors left? So that 25 is basically means that it will take 25 minutes for both bridges to have the same number of motorists left, okay? So after 25 minutes, both of them are going to have the same amount of cars waiting to cross, okay? Does that make more sense? So my answer for this, it is letter C. So just remember that those 25 is the minutes that will take for both bridges to have the same amount of cars waiting to cross.